Hello Bobcats, Brad Streffler here with another tutorial. I want to show you guys a little bit about how to edit Canvas pages. They've changed the way the Canvas page editor looks over the summer, so I want to make sure you can see the most current version and what that looks like. So especially if you copy the template over that I gave you guys and sent, said we'd ask you to use, then this will show you a better idea of how to use and edit that. So we'll go into our course that we want to edit. And in all course pages, whether it's a course page, a course assignment, or the home page, you'll have that edit button at the very top. So you'll click that edit button right there, and that will load our screen. If, like me, your screen shows up real small, we can drag that down right there and get a little bit more to look at. That'll help out as one first tip. All of our edit options are up here at the top. So you can, anywhere on this page, you can select content, you can change it to say what you want, you can just type, you're ready to go. That's pretty straightforward. We have headings. At the top, I tend to choose heading two for my top. I use paragraph for just regular text. So that way you don't have to try to mess with the text size every single time. I'm gonna put that back. Let me show you a couple other little things. One of the questions that came up is how do you replace that image there if you wanna put a different one? Well, all you're gonna do is take the existing image right there, click on it, and then hit delete. And then if you want to add a new image, this is our button at the top to let us add an image. We click that drop down and we can either upload or use an image that's already in our course. Uploading is pretty straightforward. You just click on that and then find the image. If you want to find an existing course image, something you've already included in the course, then you can click on that. So you'll see those are the two course images I already have in my template course. So you would just replace it with your own picture and then you're good. You can also click to resize it, make it the size you want it, so that it makes some sense on your screen. There we go, and we're set. If you wanted to add a YouTube video or something like that, we're actually gonna do that as a link. That makes it really easy. So let's say I wanted to copy the link to this video and include it in my Canvas course. I'll click Share here and just copy that link. Then on my Canvas page, I will just Go ahead and paste that link right there, and it will take care of it for me. So now when the page loads, this will be there itself, and they'll click it, and it'll load the video right there. If you wanted to embed the video directly into the page like I did here, then for that option, you'll actually do an embed. You'll click Share on the YouTube video. You'll click Embed. We're going to copy all of that. And then on this, we're going to click down at the bottom here, this option. This is going to show us the HTML editor. You don't need to do this, so if this is going to confuse you, don't worry about it. But right here, we're going to figure out where we want it to be, and then we paste that exact embed code right where we want it. So we'll paste that right there, and we'll go ahead and go back to the viewer. And now when it loads, you'll see that second video has been embedded directly in the page. Pretty straightforward on that one. If you've recorded a video in, in Canvas in using Studio, that's one thing that has actually changed. So now we're gonna click on these three dots and we're gonna click on this plug icon. That's meant to be apps or plugins, things that you can add in and that's where we're going to be able to add additional things. So we have Canvas Arc Studio is sort of our first option. All we have to do is click that, and that will take me to my studio. Any videos I've already recorded and have available in studio are right here once this page loads. I can also add a video from YouTube into studio. That would give me those additional options like having viewer numbers and things like that right there. If you wanted to attach a document, that option is right here. We can use this to upload a document, whether it's a PDF, a Word document, something like that. We can put that upload document right there. If I want to link to another place in my Canvas course, let's just say I wanted to uh, course home. I'll select that text, click that link option, course links, unit title overview, or course navigation. Here we go. Course navigation uh, should have my syllabus page. There we go. 
Now that link will take students to the syllabus page for this course. Straightforward and pretty easy. Basic text editing features are all built in, of course. You can bold, italic, underline. We can change the font color. We can change a highlighting color if we want. We can use superscript or subscript if we need to do math equations, things like that. Justification, left, center, and right. Bullet points, as well as indents if we want to indent a section of the material. And we can insert a table if we'd like to as well. And then the last piece is the math equation. You can insert math equations through there. Those features should give you a rough idea of how to edit and create a document or edit a page in Canvas. Remember, if you're using that template, make sure you read the material in here. It'll give you a walkthrough. But then once you're ready, you just select the material you want to delete and then hit the delete button. Then you add your own into that space. Pretty straightforward. As always, I hope this video was helpful for you guys and it helped you out. If you have any additional questions, you can reach out to me, bradley.schreffler at ocps.net. I'm always available to help you out there, and I'm glad to answer any questions you might have. And I know you are going to do awesome things with and for your students this year.